Parla! Su, non fare così. Parla! Di! 100 years ago, today, Italy got an amazing gift. One of the best actresses to ever walk the earth, Giulietta Masina. She mastered her craft like no other, and she has always been true to her real self. What always amazes me is her authenticity. She played many different characters, all of them with a huge emotional history. Forza! But she's always done a great job in telling their stories with a little bit of herself. And I think that that's what made her so good at what she did. Here we are in front of the Terme di Caracalla, actually right outside of them. This spot is where the iconic dance scene was shot. In fact, in the movie, Kabiri and her friends used to work here to wait for their clients to chat with them. And the dance scene where Kabiria dances with two guys was shot here. Just around the corner, we are on Via delle Terme di Caracalla. And from here, we can actually spot Alberto Sorti's house, the one covered in green, which is now a museum. Here we are in Piazza di Porta Maggiore, where Cabiria gets off her bus to meet up with Oscar for their date. We can see how it has changed a lot from the 50s, when it used to be just a huge construction site with some bus stops here and there. Now there are cafes, restaurants, and there's always a lot of traffic. The bus stops are still there, and these kind of buses are called tram. And probably the sounds of the city aren't too different from the past. What never ceases to amaze me is how, in Rome, we are surrounded by eternity. These arches have been there since Roman times. And I wonder if Giulietta Masina was thinking the same things while filming the movie. Here we are on Via Piantica, an ancient Roman road where now there are a lot of archaeological sites, like the Villa di Massenzio, which is not too far from us, and also the Catacombe di San Callisto. But we are here in front of the Mausoleo di Cecilia Metella, which appears briefly in the movie. And it is now an archaeological site where a lot of tourists come every day This is what Piazza San Giovanni Bosco, or Piazza Don Bosco, looks like now. It's pretty hard to recognize it, right? When Fellini shot the scene where Oscar asks Cabiria to marry him, this place was completely empty and desolated. There were only a few buildings in construction but almost nothing else, quite different from today. What was already there was the church that we have on the right, the Basilica di San Giovanni Bosco. It was already there, but nothing else was around it, except for that building that we have on the left. Some of you may have already recognized this church from another Fellini's movie. La Dolce Vita. In the movie, Marcello leaves his car in front of this exact church and then enters it. This piazza is very close to Cinecittà and that maybe explains why also this other iconic scene from the movie was shot here. Now these arches look so much different. Like, of course, the rest of this entire piazza. Giulietta Masina was, is, and will always be an icon. Her legacy still inspires many and many young actors and actresses, including myself, to study every character with passion, but never forgetting who you are.